Good morning, everyone. Hey, listen, we're going to talk real quick about uh, another project. Yay! It's your Mole Day project. Mole Day is actually um, Friday, October 23rd from 6.02 in the morning till 6.02 in the evening. We'll talk more about that uh, later today because that's what your homework and stuff is over today. Um, but for now, let's talk about the project. You will have three options um, for doing a Mole Day project. Just so you know, these projects are due Monday, October 26th, which is a week from today. The uh, first one, the first uh, option is to write an essay. And so uh, all of the requirements are written there. What you need to do, um, you need to make sure you go through this list if this is what you want to do. And to write an essay, or you can make it look like a newspaper article, you can make it look like um, an autobiography type thing. Um, but just, just make sure everything's in there. Also, it has to have citations at the end of the paper in MLA format. If you're not sure how to do that, Google it, okay? It is important that you learn how to do that. Um, your other option is to make a PowerPoint, which you would cover everything mentioned in the essay. The difference is in the, in the PowerPoint, you wouldn't have to write it like in paragraph form. You could put your, your six bullet points. You have to have at least four slides. These four slides have to be your body slides. This does not include like a title slide and then a citation slide. So you'd have to have your title slide, four slides, and then your citation slide. So you're looking at like six, at least six. Okay. On each slide, you've got to have six bulleted points at least. Um, you have to have um, at least one picture of visu visual aid on every slide. So that's something you could consider. I talked to the morning classes about possibly presenting it for bonus points if you might like to do that or um, do a Flipgrid pre presentation that I could show the kids you could earn some bonus points. Now the third option is my favorite which is the actual mole project. So that's where you would make a mole. What does a mole look like? You're looking at something like that. Okay um, there is a pattern that I'll post or I think I posted it with your mole day options um, and you just create a mole out, out of fabric. Okay you cannot use paper or plastic it's got to be fabric of some kind. You got to use the pattern that is given. It's got to be school appropriate and creativity is rewarded. So I've had kids go with literary characters before. So like, can you guess this one? All right. If you can, you can email me what you think it is. So um, I always have kids do some sports moles, you know, in the past they have. So that's something that you could do. Um, just be creative if you want to do that. Just make sure that you're following the, the rules, though. Um, you don't have to go buy anything for this. You could use an old t-shirt, which is what this kid did. He just cut up an old t-shirt or an old washcloth, an old pillowcase, old scraps of fabric. If you do want to go buy, buy fabric, they have those squares like at the dollar store for, I think, 90 cents, uh, 98 cents. You probably need like one or two squares. Um, but just some options there. You don't have to go buy anything. Um, you could totally do one of the other projects too if you're not into arts and crafts. So those are due next Monday. Good luck. Let me know if you have questions.